Hey guys, it's the Deeds with another Sales Energizer cold calling tip of the day. And I've been getting calls in uh, all week, my, actually my entire life about this subject. And for whatever reason, if people are really scared about cold calling, but even worse, for whatever reason, you're scared about leaving messages. I mean, leaving messages is a double whammy. Not only are you not gonna talk to somebody, but you know, they're probably gonna erase you anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so the question is, should I leave a message or should I not leave a message? And the answer is yes and no. Uh, I'll give you the yes first. Uh, the yes is you're to leave a message uh, with a certain amount of authority. Meaning, uh, hello, Mr. Jones. Hey, this is Dan Jordan. Uh, my number is 678-910-9912. That's 678-910-9912. Please give me a call back. Thanks. Boom. Just like that. Now, that's like, with that type of authority, you could you could do a lot of some people are watching this right now and you're saying, I would never answer an email like that. I mean a voicemail like that. Most people won't. But I get about 10%. Just like that. Now, when they call, I'm prepared. You need to be prepared too, and you will be if you're cold calling on a regular basis. Because when they call in, it's just another cold call. They have no idea why they're calling in. They're gonna say, hey, I got this number on my message, I don't know what it's about. And you say, oh, great. Well, listen, I wonder if you can help me. My name's Dan, I had called earlier. I'm with a company uh, here in town. Well, we work with companies like yours to significantly improve your salespeople and their production. Uh, who would be the person I would need to speak with regarding that? I, boom, you're right in your sales pitch, right there when it comes in. Uh, and don't worry, now if you do have uh, something to say, uh, you know, something specific, you might want to put it in one line. But the thing is, call me back with the voice, I got something big. Uh, when you shouldn't call back is when you know you're dealing with someone who's like a real kind of go-getter, um, you know, aggressive type of person. And in that case, what you do is you call and you could say, uh, I'll call back later and just hang up just like that. And they have caller ID, so they'll follow up with you with that one. A little tricky one there. But the idea is, should you leave a message? If you have something good enough that you think that you that, that you're uh, that they should buy, if you believe in your product well enough, absolutely, you should leave a message and be proud of it. Listen, if you got a product that's making the world better, if you got the cure for cancer, imagine if you had the cure for cancer and someone had cancer and you want them to say, hey, I got this cure for cancer for you, and they didn't answer the phone, would you leave a message? If your product's that good, that it can change the world, that you think that person needs it badly enough, baby, it's your job to put it in their hands. You remember that today and go get it. You're the best.